This is Eric Whiteside with Whiteside Tactical Solution. Here's a sneak peek of Whiteside Tactical Solution TECC event led by Dr. Derek Whiteside as he teaches the participants about airway management. Watch as Dr. Whiteside explains and then demonstrates how Almost to realistic. use the you have nasal, the nasal septum, the, oh, you have the nasal, you have the septum in place, you have the teeth. For us as a physician, if we were innovating, you hear that? So that means we're hitting against the teeth. But other than that, you don't have to worry uh, about so it. So first thing we're going to start off with is the the MPA. So it's called MPA is called nasopharyngeal airway. So basically you have a person, they're having some trouble breathing. They're not getting enough oxygen in them. Uh, if you have these, very simple, they come different lengths. So what you're supposed to do is actually measure from the septum to the angle of the jaw. Well, sorry, from the nose to the angle of the jaw, that's the length you're supposed to have. And that's how you know it fits. They come in any size from a pediatric all the way to a big Shaquille O'Neal size. They really come that. You'll see that they have a bevel. The bevel is always to the septum. When they develop these, they realize that the right is a little nair, larger than the left nair. And so when you go for it, there's always be uh, bevel to septum. The other thing is that if inside of your nose, the septum is very sensitive. It's thin, very thin mucosa. So let's say you decide to put your finger up your nose, dig it for gold. You scratch the inside, it will bleed very easily. But if you go on the outside, if you scratch the other, the other part of your nose, it won't bleed at all. So that's why they have it open. So it rides against the uh, septum itself. So when you do, most of the time on the mannequins, they're not lubricated on a real person. It's, the nose is not as dry, but if it is dry, people think it's disgusting. You actually take it, put it in their mouth, use their own saliva. That's what you do. Because people say, well, it's not sterile. It's not gonna be sterile. If it goes in your mouth, your nose is not gonna be sterile at all. And then you actually take it, put it, and then go. That's literally all you do. But then you're saying, well, how does it help? It helps because it gives uh, extra, it actually gives you more of a port down into the airway, down into the lungs. That's what it's doing. It's nothing significant, but it's good enough. It's better than having nothing at all. And especially if the mouth is closed off and you can't get it open, then it gives you some way to get air inside the lungs. Okay, any questions about that? It's very simple. Yeah, can you do, what, what is the septum, the septum? Oh, it's the, uh, sorry. I <laughs> you, you see the medical field? Right. <laughs> I'm tracking you, but everybody it's the, else uh, like... the middle part of your nose. So you know how right here, and then if you put your fingers in your nose, it closed off? Mm -hmm. That's the septum. Mm -hmm. So it's that little tissue that's right in the, in the middle part okay. of the nose. Separate the nose? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, I'm trying to. <laughs> that's common, folks. <laughs> it's high roll. So, um. Actually, I'm gonna just, everyone grab one and just go ahead and put it in the nose. It's, a, it's as simple as it feels. Standing in this position, I'm in a good position to be able to see everything that I need to see. I've got some lubricant on the outside to help. And then with my non-dominant hand, I'm just gonna pull the nose slightly back so I can see which nostril is largest. In general, we go for the right nostril first, but it's important you have a look to make sure there's no deviated septum or large inferior turbinates that may hamper you putting this in. Then we're going to gently insert the tip into the nostril and I'm heading downwards, gently twizzling the tube, letting it gently seat itself in. I'm going to keep pushing, gently twizzling until the flange sits comfortably on the outside of the nostril. You can see in the side cut where the tip of the tube is. So if the tube was too long, potentially the patient may start gagging or coughing, in which case you'd remove the tube and replace it for a smaller size. Yeah. One. Oh, yeah. 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 So, the only time you would not use this if somebody had a um, you put this over that head injury because you don't know if they have a facial fracture. So, if somebody fell, busted their head open, don't use it. But if the, for the most part somebody's right here or it's medical and you know they didn't have that. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's it. That's perfect. Do, do you push it in just like that? I mean, it's, it's gonna be a real person. You just, yeah, just it's it's right. Right. Oh, you don't jam it in. No, no. Hey, I'm, like, I know it's uncomfortable. So I'm assuming this person's gonna be. Un are they gonna be unconscious? They can be, they can be conscious. Yes, yeah. they can be conscious or unconscious. When you go when you go for a work called OPA, which is when I teach in the oil, the oil, they have to be unconscious. Yeah, I thought that. That's gonna be uncomfortable. I'm gonna hate it because it's gonna reflect in your in your work. It's gonna reflect your color. So you're gonna lose your color. Which is called a 
bag valve mask. I like it for guys. It's easy for women. It tends to be a little harder if your hands are smaller. But what it is is that you have this in the nose. So you put this, and what I do is I take this because you see how it's this way. I'm gonna say diamond. Now, you can I know. Call it. I believe they get so warnings. This is the top of the nose. People that haven't had what this I type do is of I training, the D back type of thing. And so then there's a technique called the EC. If you have head injury. So you this head goes injury, around this part nice. right here, and then okay. these three fingers so go on the jawline. Go on the bone, not on the tissue. The reason okay. being is because if you go in the tissue, you're actually going to cause trauma to the area. Possibly go into a trachea. So it's just on the bone itself. So what I do is I apply pressure down. I got my E right here. And then my C. And then some people keep it flat, but for an adult airway, it's angled. So you actually pull up a little bit. So you're pulling their face up here, pulling it into the mask, and then you squeeze. And that's all you're doing. Okay, so it's we call the EC technique. Along the bone, pull pull the face up into the mask, and you squeeze. Now, just take your time. And the way I can get very technical, but basically the way this works: every time you breathe, they need to breathe. I keep it very simple. I can say every four to six seconds you should ventilate to make them breathe. When you breathe, they need to breathe. I keep it very simple. So if you're in an emergency situation trying to figure out how many seconds was that? Oh, I'm breathing. You breathe. A person really breathes about 12 times a minute. You think you breathe faster than that, but you don't. It's only 12 times a minute when you relax. So, anybody want to try it? No, it's straight to the point. That's the thing. <laughs> and you don't even have to squeeze the bag all the way. Nice little squeeze. They're getting oxygen in the lungs. And this is how we literally look. If I can pass out and make myself do this. Then I will have y'all, and you squeeze my, you'll see my chest rise and fall. And we actually like these because you know when you're doing CPR, they say you uh, breathe from whatever back valve mask. You don't know what the lungs look like. So now this is a better representation of oh, this how it actually looks because we can think of it, but we don't see it. But now you actually can see what's going on and how the lungs inflate. If we were out in the street, could we actually breathe through that to help them breathe, or without using the bag, or? I mean, you can't, yes, you can. This game, because it's still open, mm -hmm. so actually you can get in there, but this is more for assisted with the bag. <laughs> how you use it? Well, I show how to use it, but what am I supposed to use it for? Right. That's the thing is, why can't you? You don't know how to use it. Just, just take it out. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah that's why. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Want to learn more from the best of the best? Make sure that you watch our page for our upcoming TECC in the spring of 2024.